How you doing guys? We're here at the happiest place on earth on the most wonderful time of the year and we're gonna try some very tasty food that's been sprinkled all around the park. We're gonna have a great time. There's so many foods. I'm very happy. I'm feeling very festive and I hope you guys are ready because we're gonna have a great time. So why don't you join us today on this magic journey. Here we go. so many foods this year that we're gonna have to go through this list fast just like we do all the time and we're just so excited because I saw the list of foods and they have so many great ones so this is gonna be great it's so great to see the Christmas tree yes. they got all the beautiful ornaments just like they do every year and I'm starting <laughs> to feel warm inside I know they even have the garland up and it's so pretty <laughs> And for what I see is a wreath. I know. Okay, so in the last video we made a bet that there was not going to be a wreath on the castle because they were going to keep that 100 medallion. And I guess I was wrong because we made you a bet wrong. that it wasn't going to be on this year. And it is. It is so on there. I owe you a gingerbread you cookie. You owe me a gingerbread cookie because I'm right. I'm always right. Well, it's going to be hard to get that gingerbread cookie because they're always sold out uh, in like the first five minutes of releasing the Mickey Mouse gingerbread. Hey guys! So I don't think they're gonna be in stock, but we're gonna to try to check because I need to I need to get Janelle a gingerbread cookie. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna forget because <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna write down my notes right uh -oh. now. Uh-oh. She's serious. <laughs> Alright, so first on our foodie list is gonna be here at the Jolly Holiday. We're about to pick up some tasty treats. I'm some excited. Treats. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Jolly Holiday, if you're looking for some delicious Instagrammable treats. Jolly this Holiday is the place, is to, the place be. to be. Yep, mm -hmm. absolutely. All right, we got our first food right here. <laughs> Let's do this. So over at Jolly Holiday, they have this cute little Mickey ornament macaron. Look how pretty! That's and it's nice. I know, right? It has some glitter dusted curls on top. Red has peppermint mousse, chocolate ganache. Let's just dig in. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that thing crumbled as soon as you took a bite. I know. Look at that. Wow, it looks nice mm. on the inside too. You got some chocolate. Whoa. I'm like, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> This tree reminds me so much of the peppermint patty, but it's not like an overwhelming taste of peppermint. It's just right. It blends well together with the chocolate ganache. But yeah, that's the best way I can describe it is a peppermint York patty. It's good. And it's so cute. You can't deny it. So get one of these now before they sell out because I'm pretty sure once people hear about this, it's gonna go away and sell out quickly. Look at this really cute chocolate snow globe. It's got a little Christmas tree inside and a little Mickey. I love it. If they put like little pearls on side, so when you if you do this to it, like the pearls will go around. Oh, that'd be great. Right? But or some have, powdered sugar. Oh, there is powdered sugar. There in is, there is, see right here. <laughs> see, but then now I get why they don't put pearls, they'll just get stuck to the tree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm seeing the picture now. Alright, so I'm gonna remove the globe. I'm taking it off. And look at how beautiful this treat is. Now this is a chocolate cake snow globe and it's got a chocolate sponge right there, truffle mousse, it's got a chocolate glaze, a buttercream tree and red and white pearls, chocolate star and little snow powder on top. It's very pretty, it's, it's powdered sugar I'm sure. Well, let me grab a fork here. <laughs> and I'm excited for this guys, I can't wait to try this. Look at how pretty this looks. It's so cute. Yeah. And I love this little Christmas tree. Look, right on top is a star. It's a little, it's a little hot today, so it's a little. It's melting a little. Yeah. We haven't gotten that hot chocolate weather yet. I'm hoping it comes soon <laughs> because I love it when it's cold. It helps me sleep Listen, a lot better. At too. nighttime, it does get kind of cold. I love to sleep in a in a warm blanket, just covering myself up, and I can sleep so much better than when it's super hot. I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try this out. Okay, we're gonna try a little bit of everything here. We're gonna get that chocolate cake too. Wow. That looks so, oh my gosh. Okay. That looks like it's gonna be very I'm rich. I'm kinda jealous you're trying this one. <laughs> oh my gosh. Stop, really? <gasps> it's so chocolatey. Mm. And it's very sweet. But it's not overly sweet. I think it's, it's more, it starts sweet and then it gets a little bitter. I do like that. And on the bottom, of course, you have that little chocolate sponge cake. Look at that. Chocolate lovers are gonna love this. It's wonderful for Janelle. She's gonna lose her mind when she tries this. <laughs> but it's good. I definitely recommend it. You can get it here at the Jolly Holiday. Mm. It's chocolatey. 
You will need some milk or something. I feel like I need milk, yeah. But wow, you want this? I'm keep it. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Guys, also a jolly holiday. I had to get myself the snowman cinnamon roll cheesecake. Look, it's so cute. Here we go. It has like nougat, a cheesecake flavor, white chocolate ganache. Look at that. Sorry, Mr. Snowman. Mmm. <laughs> okay. If there's one thing you have to get at Jolly Holiday during the holiday season, it's gonna be this cheesecake. Because sometimes cheesecake can be a little bit too much, you know, cheesy, I guess you can say. But this is just sweet, just enough. It's not too overpowering. It's soft, almost like a mousse. And it's so cute. We can't deny it, please. All these treats here at Jolly Holiday is where to go, you guys. I'm telling you, it's so cute, so yummy. 10 out of 10. Definitely recommend coming here first. Mm -hmm. So over here at the Galactic Grill, they have this hyperdrive chicken sandwich. Look at this. That chicken is pretty big. But <laughs> I'm a little disappointed because I did look inside and look at the sauce they gave me. It's that's, a little poop. They just went <laughs> poop and that's it. But uh, the chicken looks promising. I just wish they had a little more sauce. That's the thing is like, I feel like quality has to be a little bit better here. But overall, we're gonna try and see if it's good. Here we go. Okay, so there is a lot of flavor in this sandwich, but unfortunately it's a bit dry. I, the chicken is dry. It doesn't have a lot of sauce, so I'm just getting a lot of dryness from the onion rings, from the fried chicken. Uh, the arugula adds a lot of flavor too, but I think if I were to come back, I'd probably skip out on this sandwich. I would get something else. And the fries, when we first got them, they were cold and they're a bit stale. So that's kind of a bummer. But we got another treat over here. Look at this. That one looks delicious, you guys. Wow. Look at it. <laughs> it's a little churro on top. <laughs> Can't wait to try this. Well, actually, Janelle's going to try this. Uh -huh. and she's going to give me a little sip to try, too. We'll see about that. I don't know. <laughs> hey. <laughs> but I got you guys. This is a comic cream cold brew, but look, it has a churro on top, right? I call this a two for one special because you get your drink and a little slice of churro. So here we go. It's a, a cream cold foam on top with chocolate and cinnamon. You have hazelnut syrup and a Joffy's coffee cold brew. So here we go. Try the top first. Now it's time to mix it. Ah! You should mix it with the churro. <laughs> you know what this drink reminds me of? Hmm. Like a premium chocolate milk with caffeine. Oh. It's really good. Not a regular chocolate milk, but a premium. Premium. Chocolate like milk. it's decadent, it's creamy, it's not too bitter, it's just right. Because it goes it goes with the churro and you can mix it like this. So now you're walking around with like two treats in your hand. I, there I think you go. it's a perfect little combo right here. Mm, we had to get one of these cute little Mickey Toy Soldier popcorn buckets. Look how cute! Wow. Oh my goodness, now I've got mine at Galactic Girl on mobile order. But you can get these around the popcorn carts around the park. And look how cute it is. It looks really oh, awesome. And it's huge too. I know, big. look. <laughs> it's like a doll basically, right? I, yeah, it's really big. It's and it's so going to look cute. great around like the living room or Christmas anywhere. Tree. Maybe under the Christmas tree. Yeah, this wow. is so cute. There we go. I can't wait to see the parade. Oh, it's going to be so great. Excited. We're waiting for it. We can watch it during the day, but we're thinking to watch it during the night. That's the best time, I think. Because you get the lights and up. the vibes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're thinking right, man. It's <laughs> so cute. Also, the Galactic Grill. We decided to get one of these here. Now, this is a little Donald Duck in a Christmas tree. Look, you got stuck in there. Something that probably <laughs> happened to me. And it lights <laughs> up, which is really cool. But right here on the back, look, there's a straw. And when you do buy one of these, you do get a refreshment. You do get a soda. So. You can put it in there, drink it around the park, right around your neck. It's gonna look really cool. And at nighttime, it's gonna look awesome because it does light up. Very cool. If you wanna get one, they have these here at the Galactic Grill and pretty much other places too, but we got it at the Galactic Grill. Yay, Pizza Planet time! All right, so next we're here at the Pizza Planet. Yes. And we're gonna get, uh, what was it for here? Uh, a pasta and a artichoke pesto pizza. Ooh. That sounds good, huh? Yeah, count me in on the pasta. Me too. <laughs> I don't know about the pizza. <laughs> we'll see, don't knock it till you try it. That's true. All right, we got <laughs> it. There it is. And a little macaron too. Yeah, I stuck that one in. <laughs> <laughs> we have landed over here at Pizza Planet and I had to get myself the artichoke pizza with pesto. It has artichoke hearts, red onions, 
olives, tomatoes, feta cheese, mozzarella, parmesan, alfredo cream sauce, and pesto dressing on top. There's a lot in there. I took a deep breath. <laughs> I kind of like this pizza. Some of the toppings are added on here, like the tomato, the onions, and the artichokes. It's something I would add to a pizza that I make at home or like those pyology type places. But overall, it's a really good pizza. I love the flavors. The only thing is that dough is too spongy for my liking, but it's a really good pizza. And I suggest you come try it. Let me know in the comments. Like, do you like Pizza Planet's pizza? Let me know. Some people comment and say they do. Some people say that it's not too bad. Some people say it's horrible, but I want to know what you guys think because you guys are the true foodies. So let me know in the comments below. All right, so right here we have the lasagna pasta. Look at that. Now this is Chef's Choice of Pasta. It's got ricotta cream, bolognese sauce on top, and Parmesan bread crumbs. That looks very tasty. I love the pastas here. I've always said that plenty of times, that I love the pasta here at the Pizza Planet. But uh, I've never tried this one. This is a new you one. I almost wanted to call it pizza for it. I felt it. I know, it's like I'm always trying to stop myself. <laughs> Like it's, it happens, it's just in my mind, it just rolls out of my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna try this out, we're gonna see if it's any good. Now, I don't see a lot of the ricotta uh, cream sauce, I don't see that, but there's a lot of bolognese. Let's mix it up a little bit here. See, let's try to get a little bit of everything. All right, here we go. That's really tasty. Now, I do love this, it's very tomato forward, it's very rich, and uh, the bolognese, you do get a little bit of beef in there. It's very good. Pasta is cooked perfectly. I'm not really tasting a lot of the ricotta, and you do get a little texture from that Parmesan. Not too bad. If you want to come over, either get the chicken fusilli because it is very tasty, <laughs> or come and try this for the holidays. Gets you all festive, warm feeling, and uh, it's not too bad. It's really good. I like it. And come the name's super out. cool. Lasagna? I know, right? Lasagna? That's, that's a pretty cool name. <laughs> <laughs> I ran over here to a Main Street because at 5 o'clock they have a tree lighting ceremony. But here in my hands I have the Santa Alien Macaron. Look how cute! It has marshmallow cream, chocolate ganache. But look how cute and Got a little Santa hat. Look yeah. at that. It's <laughs> very it. festive. I like how every year is like a, like a new little treat. So cheers! <laughs> This is a very chocolate forward macaron. Now, if you're not a chocolate fan, don't get this. I am, so I'm probably gonna get like six or 10 of these. But even though it is chocolate forward, I don't really taste much of the marshmallow that it said that it has. I kind of wish it did though, because it's very, very chocolatey. So if it was up to me, I'll probably get the macaron over at Jolly Holiday than this one. The ornament because, one? Yeah, because I think that one has more flavor of like peppermint, soft macaron. And this one's just like chocolate, so it's not wowing me mm -hmm. like the holiday, like the Halloween one. All right, you know? I can see so that. Skip it on this one, unless you're a big chocolate fan. Get yourself that ornament, trust me. Okay, so we're here on Main Street. It's almost five o'clock. That's when the tree's gonna light up. We're getting ready for this ceremony. So excited. It's gonna happen real soon. It's already 4.59, so let's turn this way because it's gonna happen real soon. I'm so ready. I got my camera ready. I'm excited. This is the, my favorite, like, listen. Okay, we're gonna get serious right now. I love for a spooky moment, like the Halloween time. When you talk to me about the holidays, ooh, we're best friends instantly. Just the vibes here are so different. I feel like every land has its own unique like tree lighting and lighting and vibes that, I don't know, it's really hard to explain, but just being here at Disneyland during the holiday season, it's just perfect. I'm here with my good friend, Dave and Liz. Hi guys! You guys ready for the tree lighting ceremony? I am. Yes, definitely ready, yeah. yes. <laughs> <laughs> He's not ready. I, I He's am. Ready. I, I'm, I'm speechless. I'm so ready. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, everyone. In keeping with our time honored tradition, we invite you to turn your attention to Town Square for the lighting of our beautiful Christmas tree. Here in the magical place where dreams come true, we hope you'll share the spirit of the season by helping us light our Yuletide tree. So, on the count of three, Everyone, please join together in saying happy holidays. Ready? One, two, three, happy, happy holidays! holidays. <laughs> and a very pleasant evening to one and all from the merriest place on earth. Yeah! Ooh, that was so magical! 
Coco. See, I'm telling you, the vibes here is just immaculate when it's the holiday season here at Disneyland. So good. But the tree lighting ceremony, I don't know. Every time it happens, I just feel some type of magic just start. It's, it's so, that tingly it's feeling that tingly of warmth. Feeling. Yes. Yeah, I love it. Oh my gosh, I love it. But right now, we're actually on the way either to Bengal Barbecue or the Minjula Bar. What do you think? I don't know. Once we start walking over there, I'm sure we'll know. You guys are going to find out in like six seconds, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so next we're hitting up the Bengal Barbecue. They have this new Jingle Julep. That sounds pretty interesting. We got to see what it's all about. The Jingle Julep right here in Little Mickey on top. That's so cute. Looks so cute. <laughs> Thank you. So right here at the Bengal Barbecue, we got ourselves one of these. Now this is called the Jingle Julep. Look at that, it's very pretty. Now this is supposed to be white hot chocolate, frozen white hot chocolate, and it's got a drizzle of buttercream, which is cool. You also have some cocoa powder on top and a pretzel rod. rod. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right, let's mix it up a little bit here. Let's try to get everything in there. Try to get some of that cocoa. These treats are really fun. I know. Now they did bring a lot from last year, but today, or should I say for this year, we're gonna be trying all the new ones that came out. So this is one of the new ones of this year. Here we go. Okay, so I give it more of a mix. This time I got everything in there, the cocoa, and I also mixed some of that buttercream in there. All right, so it is tasting a little bit different. I'm getting the taste of kind of like animal crackers. Like if you were yeah. to drip, dip them in the milk for like a long time, <laughs> and then you taste the milk and the milk kind of tastes sweet, that's what I'm getting out of this. Would I get it again? Uh, I'd probably say no. This would be the first and the last time I'm trying it. It is good, it's something sweet, but I'm not into that kind of stuff. I would prefer if it would have had a little bit more of a cocoa taste, that would have been great. And uh, it's not bad, but for a cool day, I don't think any of us would want something frozen like this, right? Right, I don't know. I don't know. I kind of like ice cream in the cold, so I, I shouldn't be talking. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, it is not bad, but it's not for me. But if you want to try it, it's here at the Bengal Barbecue. So I know you guys heard the news. The Adventureland Treehouse is now open officially. And I love the lighting outside. It just looks fantastic. I love the blue. I love the sound of the water right there. What do you think, Janelle? You excited? I love it. it so much better that the walls are down yeah i feel like the walls take away the magic as much as they put murals and colors in this it's like it's not the vibe yeah, it doesn't beat this right it's, this is like perfect and i now love it's, it it's more open more spacious i feel like more energy more, more energy. kinetic motion and that's what what was all about there's, honestly there's more people here now than there was at tarzan street house i remember it was not that many people went up there yeah now like a whole bunch of people young and old so and this makes really, it really, really happy. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so we're waiting for the parade that's about to start at about six o'clock. Are you yes. ready? Why you ask if you know the answer? Yes, I've been ready. I know. I love watching this parade at night. It looks great during the day, but I think at night times when it really comes to life. I think it's because of the, the lights, the Christmas lights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's time to share the magic of the merriest season of all as Disneyland Good. <laughs>
Honestly, Disney has a lot of parades, but I think the most magical would have to be that one. For some reason, it just, I love that parade. What are we talking about? <laughs> How magical this parade is. Oh, I know. I waited all year for just this one right here. It's truly it's my favorite. is. Yeah, it's so, so good. I love it more than all the other parades I've seen. This uh, is like the best. Right, and well, yes. right now also, we're not done yet because the Sleeping Beauty Castle is gonna do its lighting ceremony soon. Yes. And we gotta show you what it's all about. <laughs> It gets you really emotional. It really does. It just means like the whole year you've been through together. It's just like, ah, oh, good thing I wore my waterproof mascara. <laughs> so next we're heading over to Rancho de Zocalo because we're kind of hungry. Aren't you hungry? Yeah, I'm getting hungry again. Yes. So we, I'm thinking we should get that. They have a caldo de res. They do. I saw that on the menu. I didn't see that on the foodie guide, but I saw it on their menu and I said to myself, we have to try it. We have to. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. The last time we were here, we got ourselves a caldo de pollo and it was our favorite thing that we've had here for the holidays. And now they changed it for a caldo de res. So I'm really hoping it's good because that was our favorite. So we're going to try this one here. So instead of it being chicken, it's beef. Let's try it out. Oh my Ooh. gosh, look at that. Thank you. Thank you. That thing is a work of art. Look at this. Be very careful. Oh my gosh. You gotta be very, very careful. I don't want to spill this all over. Wow. Come on. You're gonna walk very slowly. There you go. Balance, you know, it's all about balance. <laughs> no peer pressure, huh? All right, so I'm very excited to show you guys this. Now this is the caldo de res. So basically a beef soup with vegetables and it looks like a lot of vegetables in here. We have carrots, we have chayote squash, we have some potatoes, we have radish, and man, do they fill this up. We also have a big corn right here just sticking out. <laughs> and look at this big piece of beef. Look at this. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh, it looks so good. It all looks so good. And then you also get some chips, chips. on the side, but and let me mine. just try the soup on its own. What's the veg with the vegetables? Let's see. It's got a lot of onions in there. I wish they gave you a bigger spoon though. That's good. Oh my goodness, hold on. That's very flavorful. Okay, so look, I got some beef here. I got some radish. Let's try this out. That's the best thing I've tried all day. <laughs> that. It's got a nice savory taste and it does have that, that uh, zing from like the radishes, the onions, very delicious, very flavorful. And of course you get a lot of vegetables in here. You get some corn, carrots, so you know it's gonna be great. You get chips too. I've, I've always been like on and off with these chips because sometimes they're great and sometimes they're just a little too salty. <laughs> I think right now they're fine, but yeah, right now they're great. Okay, you know like when you have a couple like this, you're definitely gonna get your hands dirty. It's gonna happen, so make sure to wash your hands and just go in there and enjoy your soup. Now on days that are cold, like soup season, like it's happening soon. I know, I got my sweater on. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna wanna get one of these, trust me. And look, we got some corn and it's dunked in that, that savory soup. Full of flavor. This is my favorite. Come and get it here, Rancho Zocalo. All right, so we just got out of the snow and we're about to get another treat here at the refreshment corner. This is gonna be like those little Frito, what was it again, I a chili I call the walking tacos because you literally walk around, it's just like Fritos with chili and then like, but this one has a chili verde. Oh, well, let's try those out. We gotta check them out. Righty, there it is. Every time I come to the refreshment corner, I feel like I just feel my jaws watering just cause, look at that. 
spicy. Ooh. It's gonna be a hot one. So over refreshment corner, we had to get ourselves the chili verde firefly chips. See? That. I know, it has ch little chilies. They call these the fire corn chips, but we all know it's Fritos. You didn't hear it from me. <laughs> and on top, it's with cheese and that chili verde with pork. Oh gosh. Wow. I know, I'm excited. Just gonna have to get in there. Look at that pork. Look at all that cheese. You got some pork on pork? top. Wow. <sighs> nice little bite here. Miguel, that's good. Oh, really? Yeah. That pork is like cooked perfectly. It falls apart in your mouth so well. It's not spicy from the chile verde. It's like one out of five fine being spicy. I would say maybe like a three. It does have those citrus notes, which I really like on chile verde. And the crispy Fritos add the extra texture. I feel like this will be the perfect snack during the fireworks. Ooh. Yeah. Fireworks snack. The fireworks snack. They should call it the fireworks snack. I don't know why they didn't call it that. They should. <laughs> so this is definitely something I recommend to have during the fireworks. Usually we watch the fireworks from Sleeping Beauty's castle, but today we thought we'd do something a little bit different. Yeah. We're gonna go over to Small World. I'm so excited because over there, the lights and it's just so pretty over there. I know. So this time we're gonna go over there. We're gonna check out the fireworks <laughs> from the Small World. <laughs> Let's go watch it on Small World. And it's so world. beautiful over here. It's so pretty. They should got keep so the lights, lights on after Christmas. I know. It's Is definitely that something they should keep forever. Yeah. <laughs> to get excited for like snow, <laughs> like fake snow. But we don't really get that here in Southern California unless you really go up into the mountains. So for us, it's magic. <laughs> yeah, we get so excited, clearly. Yeah. Okay, if you ask me, I think the best view for the fireworks is always gonna be my favorite. It's the middle of Main Street. I think just because you can see the wreaths and the middle of Main Street, the projections, Everything around there is just the vibe is perfect. You have a nice view of the fireworks. Everything looks good. But yeah, we saw it today in the front of Small World. It was still really good. We saw nice projections. But I feel like all the fireworks show was in front of the castle or near the castle. So my suggestion is middle of Main Street for sure. Now, if you're looking for hot chocolate, I suggest coming over here in Fantasyland and get yourself a nice cup of hot cocoa or you can go to Jolly Holiday. I think for this next one, we go have a surprise for you. We should get some hot chocolate for this next one. I think we should. Let's do Staying it. Staying a little chilly. <laughs> yeah. So we got a little bag of marshmallows for your hot cocoa. Thank you. <laughs> are these Mickey shaped? Are they? Wait. They are on. not. I, I think I'm just. No, they're not. I, oh, was, I was gonna I was say what? Excited. I was like, wait. They're th they think of everything here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna add some marshmallows on top of my hot chocolate. There we go. All right, we got them in there. So cute! I thought they were Mickey shaped. I wish they were though. Can that you imagine? Been awesome. That would yeah. have been like top notch hot cocoa. <laughs> but 
But yeah, the next treat, you're gonna want some hot chocolate for this. Trust me. Absolutely. We're here at New Orleans Square. We're about to go to the Mint Julep Bar and pick up these beignets and a chocolate dipping sauce. Let's go get it. So you got ourselves the candy cane beignets, you guys. I'm so happy some specialty beignets are back at the Mint Julep Bar. It's been a hot minute. I was kind of hoping they would bring back the pumpkin beignets for the Halloween season, but they didn't. But they made up for it. They got the candy cane beignets with the dipping sauce. Now the dipping sauce is extra. I think it's like a dollar something something. We'll put it on the little description here. But yeah, a little dipping sauce. Smells Ooh. so good. Ready for the I shake? I from here. You want to try? I'm good. <laughs> and we all know you love your beignets. I like them, but I just don't like I tell you them. every time. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> That's why the beignets scare me. <laughs> yeah. Did you see that? Yeah. Gotta do a nice shake. Gotta shake them up. Be careful opening it, too. Ooh, what a powdery. <laughs> <gasps> look at that. It's a Mickey peppermint beignet. And you know, here at Magic Journeys, we eat the ear first, so here we go, cheers. Those are some good beignets, wow. <laughs> and by sure these are gonna taste really good with the dipping sauce. It already tastes already good. It you got taste some like, dipping sauce right here. Yeah, it doesn't taste like like overwhelming mint. It's almost like subtle, so mm -hmm. I love that a lot. Did you look at that? Ah! Wow. I'm so happy. Get <laughs> Here you go. Mmm. I love that. These beignets are like... Oh, give me a minute. Hold on. Honestly, I think I kind of just like the beignets by itself because it's not an overwhelming minty flavor. It's very subtle. But I like it. It's so good. This is why I got the hot cocoa because instead of the, the chocolate dipping sauce, give yourself the hot cocoa and watch. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Mmm. All right. That's how you do it. This is how you do the holidays. <laughs> you just have a hot cocoa, some beignets, we dunk it in there, and then your hot cocoa tastes like a peppermint hot chocolate. Mmm. So good. So 10 out of 10, get yourself the beignets, the hot chocolate, and have a holiday grand old time. <laughs> Of course we did get these because we did want to do a little giveaway give back to you guys and pretty much all we want to know is what is your favorite movie to watch during the holidays mine is home alone jingle all the way i love those films just let me know in the comments below leave a like and we will be choosing a subscriber so make sure you are subscribed we'll be picking a winner on december 15th your names will be pinned at the top of the comments and yeah good luck there was so many tasty foods here. I really enjoyed them, but I think my favorite had to be the caldo de res. Oh my gosh, that oh. was everything. If there's something you need to try here during the holidays, it's gonna be like caldo de res. That's the so, one. So, so good. Right? <laughs> yes. And guys, we just wanna thank you for coming along. Now, we do have plenty of videos coming up. The holidays have just begun. I know. We have the festival holidays. We have Disney's California Adventure. We have Knott's Merry Farm Universal. Yes, there's so many. Adventures. Oh my gosh, the list just keeps on going. So, I know. I'm excited. My so, tummy's been Ready. Don't forget to subscribe. Yes, Join forget. us. You don't it's wanna, gonna be fun. Yeah, you don't want to forget because we have so many videos coming up. Our vlogs. It's gonna be popping off this holiday season. Yeah, right. <laughs> but we just want to say thank you guys for watching. We love you. But we're gonna see you guys here next time on Magic Journeys. Bye. Bye.